Hi, I'm Chris Cardona, and welcome aboard Wonder of the Seas, where we're gonna bring you all the highlights from this amazing ship coming up on Talking Cruise. Excited to get on board Wonder of the Seas, largest cruise ship in the world as of today, which is April 1st. No fool here, we're absolutely going on board. And here's the red carpet. And we're on board Wonder of the Seas. The best thing about boarding Oasis class ships is coming out, uh, boarding right into the World Promenade. Good morning, welcome aboard, guys. Hi there. So, uh, this is boarding day here on board uh, Wonder of the Seas, and I have come to the Mason Jar Southern Restaurant and Bar. Uh, this is going to be the brunch that I'll be enjoying here today. Um, wasn't really my plan, but they are completely full for the rest of the cruise, and I didn't want to take a chance of missing this. So let's have a look here at the uh, menu. So we do start with uh, the eggs and more section. Um, definitely looking for that chicken and waffles uh, option myself, but they've got Johnny Cakes and uh, Southern Breakfast, which comes with all the fixings. Uh, even uh, salmon avocado toast, which is a little unique. Um, over here on the sweet side, uh, peanut butter, banana, overnight oats, cinnamon rolls, stuffed French toast, red velvet pancakes. And then down here, we've got po' boy, crispy chicken sandwich, and the southern burger. So uh, I think that's going to be a really good start to uh, the food here on board. And I will be with the unlimited dining package. So there'll be lots of it uh, over the course of the next week here on Wonder of the Seas. So here we've got the beautiful golden jalapeno cornbread saltine crackers and those will go great with the pimento cheese and then we have uh, a couple of butters here as well to go with uh, yeehaw this looks awesome so over here we have probably one of the largest cinnamon rolls i will ever eat and i'm definitely not going to finish that and then over here we've got the chicken and waffles uh, with uh, warm honey and warm maple syrup and uh, again extremely large portions and this is just embarkation day here on board Wonder of the Seas. Wow. And this is a category 2J, which is a central park uh, view with balcony. Uh, never had this category to actually stay in during a cruise. I've definitely seen a lot of these over the years on Oasis class ships. But uh, I'm actually very excited to have this room and to have this view down to Central Park. Shaping up to be a nice evening here in Central Park. This is the wine bar of Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar, uh, replacing the old vintages that uh, you've seen on other 
perhaps you've seen another Oasis class ship. So one of the changes here with uh, Wonder of the Seas. And another big change is these doors that open up to Central Park and allows you to have much more connection with the exterior spaces here on board the ship. And tonight I'll be starting off my uh, usage of the unlimited dining package. Um, I already did have lunch today. This is embarkation day here uh, from Port Everglades. And I did have a really nice brunch at the Mason Jar. And tonight I will be continuing that over here at Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar. It's so nice to have you along with me as we explore the wonder of the seas together. And uh, this being the first night uh, coming to uh, really exercise, and I will be exercising uh, in addition to exercising my unlimited dining package. Uh, so here at uh, Giovanni's Italian Kitchen, um, one of my favorites that I've experienced on other ships in the fleet. Uh, this one's a little bit different uh, as far as its uh, location and the design is actually different than the Italian restaurants on other Oasis class ships, uh, but it's always been a favorite of mine. And uh, tonight uh, I'm going to start a little bit slow and I'll work my way up as we go through the voyage, but uh, definitely going to have my signature uh, Osobuco, which I absolutely love, and uh, just a simple uh, Giovanni salad, but it is also uh, very, very good. So I thank you very much for uh, coming along and uh, can't wait to bring you a lot more here from on board Wonder of the Seas. As always, when you come to Giovanni's Italian Kitchen, you'll be greeted with some uh, amazing uh, garlic and Parmesan rolls, uh, some marinated uh, olives and uh, garlic, and uh, a nice marinara as well. So this is, uh, you're welcome here at uh, Giovanni's Italian Kitchen. I do normally go for the uh, Caprese, but uh, I did try this. This is the Giovanni salad. I had it recently on Odyssey of the Seas, and I absolutely loved it. Uh, it's a little bit lighter and uh, very fresh. So you've got uh, mixed greens, you've got olive, um, some uh, endive as well as onion, and then some uh, crispy pancetta and a sprinkling of Parmesan over the top. It's a really, really good salad. And when you have something rich like Osabuco, this is a nice way to start your meal. Just one of the benefits of coming out here to uh, eat in Central Park is the wonderful music that will accompany your dinner in the evenings. Um, or if you have a room like I do up in the uh, balconies uh, overlooking the Central Park, you can hear it as well. So uh, keep that in mind when you're looking for places to uh, enjoy a dinner. Now here is my uh, choice for this evening, which is the Osabuco. It is one of my go-tos, one of my favorites. Uh, if you're not familiar with Osabuco, it is a uh, braised veal shank. Um, and uh, this sauce that they have is just fantastic. And it is sitting on a bed of um, saffron risotto, uh, which is also very, very good. It's tender. You could eat it with a spoon. Uh, it's just one of my favorites. So. Okay, it's time for dessert, and uh, this is something that I've had several times. Uh, again, my go-to is typically the tiramisu here at Giovanni's, uh, but uh, I had this on Odyssey of the Seas, and I haven't looked back. This is the pistachio panna cotta, and let me just tell you, it is incredible. Um, you know, velvety, smooth, very rich. Um, and then you have a little bit of sprinkle of some uh, chopped up uh, pistachios in there and some fruit. Uh, what can I say? It's, it's just so, so good. There is just a fantastic breeze rolling through here tonight. Uh, even if you're not coming to eat in Central Park, just take a little stroll uh, on deck number eight through the park. It's beautiful. Let's uh, head out to the boardwalk here on uh, deck six aft and see what's going on tonight. One thing if you're an Oasis uh, class uh, fan, you'll notice there are no horses here. That's usually a big thing when you walk in to uh, walk out to the uh, boardwalk is there's the uh, carousel horses, not, not here on the ship. Carousel is always a favorite for a lot of people, including myself.
happening places on board Oasis class ships is the Royal Promenade. And uh, tonight we've got some country western going on. So again, I'm going to be pointing out some things that are different with uh, this Oasis class ship versus the other four. And over here in the Aqua Theater, um, you can see the Royal Caribbean logo right above the uh, stage uh, pool area. Um, all around that, there is this uh, sort of a shroud uh, with these uh, triangle uh, shapes here. Those are not glass, actually. They're um, sort of cushions they fill with air. Um, and it allows them to sort of balance the light and do projections. Um, I did see the show last night uh, in tents and it really sort of encapsulates this entire area and uh, makes the, uh, the show sort of come alive a little bit more rather than just having it, you know, the, the light go out to the, the darkness of the sea behind. Um, and it also, I think, creates a little bit of a wind barrier uh, as well in this area. So here's Johnny Rockets, which is situated in the boardwalk area, aft on deck number six. And uh, we're going to have breakfast, hopefully outside, because it is beautiful right now. So good morning from uh, day two here on board Wonder of the Seas. And uh, this morning I'm here in the boardwalk, which is deck six aft. And uh, something that a lot of you may or may not know is that on Oasis class ships, which this is the fifth Oasis class ship, uh, you can actually come to Johnny Rockets uh, for breakfast. And uh, normally Johnny Rockets is an upcharge. It's considered specialty uh, dining, uh, but you can come here for breakfast and it is included. And they've got a good variety of uh, breakfast sandwiches and scrambles and so forth. Uh, so you'll have a lot of different options. And uh, like I said, they're completely uh, complimentary as well as some upcharged uh, items if that's what you prefer as well. So definitely come here and uh, check out Johnny Rockets. Uh, have a great uh, start today, and you really can't beat the ambience of being outside here on the boardwalk. So thanks for coming along. So here is my breakfast from Johnny Rockets. I've got a vegetable scramble with some uh, cheese, nice crispy bacon and potatoes under there, uh, wheat toast, and um, I specifically asked for some muffins, and they brought me some muffins as well. So uh, that's really, really good. And again, this is a uh, complimentary with some uh, outside uh, ambiance here at uh, Johnny Rockets. Well, that was a great breakfast at Johnny Rockets, and uh, it's really nice being out here in the uh, boardwalk area. It changes from uh, day to night, and uh, there's lots of different things to uh, do and to see, uh, and to enjoy lots of activities as well. And you might actually come across uh, this person over here. This is the stowaway piano player, who I've seen on several ships before. Let's have a listen. And let's head into uh, Studio B here on uh, Deck 4 Forward. And we're going to check out the uh, open ice skating, which is uh, complimentary for guests when there are no uh, shows going on here in the ice rink. And ice skating on a cruise ship is not new to Royal Caribbean, but it's certainly one of the more unique things that you can do, especially in the Caribbean. I really like to appreciate the little touches that you see on board cruise ships. Um, up here in the uh, Studio B, there's all these uh, quotes from uh, astronauts throughout the years. And uh, there's definitely an astronaut kind of vibe and theme on board Wonder of the Seas as I actually got a picture with an astronaut yesterday um, up on the pool deck. And if you can see the uh, carpeting here is actually like the surface of the moon with uh, 
footstep right there. So very clever, very cool homage, if you will, to the space program. Okay, we're here on deck four aft, and it's time to enjoy some lunch at uh, Izumi Sushi. I'm going to leave the hibachi for dinner on another night. But I uh, love coming here, uh, sea days. It's a uh, real nice, fresh uh, sushi. And uh, say hello to this guy over here. So, back to one of my favorite lunchtime uh, spots here on board the Oasis class ships. And uh, here on one of the seas, I'm on deck four. Uh, aft and we're here at Izumi Sushi. Uh, you can come here and uh, if you don't have an unlimited dining package you can do a la carte uh, or you can do the uh, prefix uh, meal which gives you one small uh, plate, two large and a choice of dessert uh, for around $35 which is a great value in itself um, or if you have the unlimited dining package which I keep telling people it, uh, it really pays for itself if you want to enjoy a lot of the options that are here on board the ship. Um, but I really like this uh, particular location. We do have views out to the water, which is nice, especially during the day. And I look forward to bringing you my uh, choices. Uh, it's going to be a large lunch, but uh, not too heavy as far as, uh, you know, residual. And uh, I'll be able to enjoy my dinner later on at Chop's Grill. But uh, thanks again for coming along. Cheers. And over here we have the sushi bar. Nice fresh ingredients right here. One of my go-tos here at Izumi Sushi is the Poke Bowl, and usually it's a combination of salmon and uh, tuna. Um, I asked just for the tuna, and it looks specifically uh, exactly what I ordered, and it looks fantastic. Very fresh, and look forward to it. And then over here we have the crispy rice, spicy tuna, which is another one of my favorites. And here we have the yaki uh, udon noodles with uh, grilled chicken and I guess a teriyaki glaze. Very nice. Something a little bit different for me here at uh, Izumi. Something simple for dessert but very good is the green tea ice cream here at Izumi. Um, really can't get this anywhere else so I try to get it when I'm here or at the teppanyaki. So I'm up here on deck 16 and I thought I would show you uh, what it looks like on a sea day here on board Wonder of the Seas. Uh, just to give you a little bit of frame of reference, uh, the current uh, population on board is around 5,200, which uh, sounds like a lot of people, still not at full capacity, but definitely uh, this is the most people they've had on board uh, since they've started sailing about five weeks ago. So. Uh, definitely the numbers are increasing and that's a good thing for the industry as a whole. Uh, do kind of miss a little bit less people on the ships, but uh, I totally understand uh, that's not uh, profitable for anybody. So I'll uh, just give you an idea, have a look around at some of the uh, key areas up here on deck 16 and uh, see how uh, things look. Again, head over here to the uh, sports deck aft on deck 16. Okay. I'd like to ask for the board. There's the a team basketball competition five, going on right now. Six. Team five and, team six. Two, and then we're over here at the uh, one and only Flow Rider on board this Oasis class ship. This is the only Oasis ship that does not have two Flow Riders. And I'll show you what they replaced it with over here in a second. And I had heard from a few people that since they replaced uh, one of the flow riders that the lines were extra, extra long. Considering this is a sea day, it's actually uh, not too bad. I kind of expected it to be a little bit uh, busier. But there are a lot of other things to do here on board Wonder of the Seas. And uh, what's really nice is you have good access throughout the ship. Uh, if you're uh, uh, in a wheelchair, they've got ramps uh, all around. So you can get between spaces pretty easily. Always a great view from up here on the sports deck down to the Aqua Theater there uh, in the boardwalk on deck six aft. You can see they're uh, kind of getting set up, testing out the equipment for uh, the show this evening. 
And then over here we have the Ultimate Abyss. If you haven't done that before, it's uh, pretty thrilling. It's a short ride, but uh, pretty thrilling. Uh, you start up here on deck 16, you end up in the boardwalk on deck six. That's uh, 10 decks if you're counting at home. So this section over here used to be the second floor rider, which is now the Wonder Place Gate. Uh, this is a series of activities for kids to enjoy. I guess kids and kids at heart. So they've got these uh, nets that you can climb through. And the whole area seems to be like padded, the walls and the floor. So really, really safe uh, if you're worried about your kids falling or whatever. But it's a nice sort of underwater theme area. There's a slide up here. And then they have some sort of play activities and uh, some interactive things on the upper deck area. I'll show you that in a second. So there's this cool orange slide that goes from the deck up down to here. And then there's this area underneath here. We have like a climber. There's this interactive wall thing here. See that? Crank this and it... that's pretty cool. And then you can see up there that's the uh, the netting area that kids can walk all the way around. And here's the upper area of the playscape. You do have this uh, thing here where you can turn the ship's wheel and it makes noise and you'll hear somebody talking to you. It's pretty cool. And uh, just forward of the playscape is Wonder Dunes, which again carries on that uh, underwater theming. This is really cool, like this guy. Royal Caribbean's always had some fantastically themed mini golf courses on board their ships, and this is definitely no exception. Nice uh, activity to do with family and friends. And another favorite is the zip line. A real big change to uh, this Oasis class ship is uh, a brand new neighborhood. It's the sweet neighborhood, and that's this area up here, uh, which has a very extended uh, sun deck uh, with its own pool and bar service and some really nice uh, chairs and such. I will try to get a peek up there. I'm not in a suite, unfortunately, but uh, we'll see what I can do to uh, bring you some of that as well. And uh, we'll be here at El Oco Fresh, which is a complimentary uh, casual Mexican uh, here on board, Wonder of the Seas. But uh, something new is the addition of this bar. This has not been uh, on any of the other ships, which is Cantina Fresca. That's a great idea to have a bar right here because uh, people get thirsty after eating their lunch. Right. I'm just going to walk through here. I'll do a more in-depth tour uh, when it's not as busy as it is right now. But uh, we have great grab-and-go, burritos, tacos, quesadillas over here. Something else that they change is there's direct access from the outside to the arcade over here. And uh, they definitely changed the layout in here. A lot of the same types of uh, games. 
uh, doesn't really seem as big perhaps, but uh, it's it's more open. There's not like a lot of separation with the games. The games pretty much seem to be around the perimeter of the space. Okay, so I'm gonna head forward a little bit here on deck 16. Uh, we're coming to the obviously most popular part of the ship, which is the pool area. And this also has a much different look uh, than some of the other Oasis class ships. One of the biggest changes that you'll notice is that they actually moved Splash Away Bay uh, from this aft section of pools to the forward section, which makes sense because it's actually closer to the water park area. Another big change is that they've added this tiered seating right here, uh, which gives you some extra space to lounge out near the pool. And then over here we have the forward pool section. Uh, this is the beach pool, which is pretty traditional on most of the Oasis class ships. And then over there, as I mentioned, uh, Splash Away Bay is uh, now in that location. Also different is this uh, sort of covered area and uh, this shroud that is off the side of the ship, uh, which has the Royal Caribbean uh, crown and anchor on the outside. Uh, very, very different feel here. And uh, here is another uh, lime and coconut bar. So pretty much all the bars in the pool area are themed with the lime and coconut. And over here we have the bandstand. And they've also created these bleachers here, which gives you a great view of the screen. Perfect place to watch a film, or in this case, uh, getting ready for the world's sexiest man competition. You cannot touch the ladies. No touching the ladies. The ladies, feel free to touch away. So let's get uh, from that excitement of that contest over here, a little more uh, family rated. Uh, here is the Splash Away Bay, as I mentioned earlier. Looks, uh, I don't know, a little bit smaller than those on other Oasis class ships, but uh, it's a nice option for kids that maybe don't want to do the uh, more thrilling rides of the perfect storm over here. And then for the real little ones, they have this uh, little splash pad area as well. Uh, just lets the kids cool off in this hot sun and uh, we're definitely feeling it today. Here are the uh, perfect storm trio of slides. You've got these uh, two racing slides and then the orange one over there, that is the champagne bull slide. Uh, these are very similar to the ones on other ships, really just the uh, colors that have uh, changed. Uh, but they are very thrilling. I hope to get on them uh, pretty soon. And then a space that used to be reserved for uh, Sweet and Pinnacle is now Social 100. This is an outdoor patio for the teens, 13 to 17. Uh, that's some pretty prime real estate. And pretty cool of Royal Caribbean to do that for them. And then we're all the way forward that we can go here on uh, deck 16. Thanks for watching the part one highlights from here on board Wonder of the Seas. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, hit that notification bell, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.